first we begin with a heartbreaking story. How do things get so bad for a seven-year-old that he kills himself? Detroit police are investigating the suicide of that little boy tonight. They say he may have been bullied and depressed. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live in Detroit. Julie, do we know how it got to this point? Joanne, that's what everybody wants to know, and I don't think we know that right at this point. Not even police know that. I mean, for a seven-year-old to think that this was the only answer, he had to have been hurting a lot, and I think that's what we do know at this point. It happened here at the boys' home in Detroit on Pingree Street. Neighbors ran outside when they heard screams coming from the home. The next-door neighbor says that the boy's older sister was laying out on the front lawn just crying uncontrollably that her brother had killed himself. Now, the seven-year-old boy used a belt to hang himself and according to police the family told them that the boy had been depressed because of bullying at school and he was also having a difficult time adjusting to his parents being separated. Police are trying to talk with numerous adults to find out about the bullying at school and to speak with anybody who was aware of his depression and find out if anything had been done to help him. Now this entire neighborhood is having a difficult time dealing with this especially because last night they thought that he had survived. I came to see of a seven-year-old kid being able to put a belt, around, they say it was a belt, a belt around their neck and hand and stuff. I don't think he was, I don't think whatever, that little boy, however that happened, I think it was more of an accident. Unfortunately, police are saying they do not believe this is an accident. They believe the seven-year-old did take his own life. I uh, went up to the family's door about a half hour ago, but they said they're just not ready to start talking about this yet. We're live in Detroit. Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. That is so tragic, Julie. Thank you very much for the live report from Detroit.